For this exercise, we've already done a lot of underlining, and I'm just going to reiterate uh, that the basic underlines here, there's other options here, and if you don't see the name that you need, then you go to more underlines, and you come to here. And there's a few more in here, like the double wave and uh, whatever these ones are, that aren't... Um, aren't in the first list. Okay, hide the red words in this sentence. Uh, when you cl double click on them and then you click the font launcher, there's a few more commands in here and this is one of them, hidden. Now why, I actually do this for some tests sometimes. So when the text is hidden and you say okay, uh, the text goes away, but just so you know, you can see it if you put show hide on then it does show and if we zoom in you'll see that those little dots uh, are telling you there's something special about this and it's the fact that those words are actually hidden and I'll turn this back off and see it's hidden uh, this one clearing all format that we've done a strike through just so you know don't forget about coming out to your left margin and clicking. And the strike through is on the font group right there. You can use it there. Make the sentence subscript. So if I just want to get the sentence, I'll go back to front. And your subscript is this one here. It will put it below the line and make it little. And this one is going to make it smaller, the superscript. Uh, like Superman flying up there. It's going to go up and it's going to get smaller. Okay, uh, the last thing that we don't know, so this is just more superscript and subscript. Change the spacing for this sentence to be condensed. So this is something that was on a Moss exam once. So I'm bringing you here, but I don't know how much this is, is used. So font launcher advanced tab and if you come here you can set the spacing to condensed right there say okay and you can see who very close together and this one is expanded same place font launcher advanced tab and uh, expanded and that's it